Hey everybody, PZOcast here, back with another Winter Sun Deity series build. And this time we have Riddlefar, one of the uh, primary gods of the Khajiit. Although he's not really a god, he's kind of more like a set of beliefs to, f to live your life by, sort of thing. Um, he is somewhat associated, possibly, with Xenophar. So sort of the god of, you know, work and, and um, you know, sort of taking taking care of yourself, self-determination and that kind of thing. Um, the bonuses that we get for following him are um, basically we get the, when you pray before a fight, which I actually didn't do before doing the combat section of this, <laughs> you get a blessing uh, from an ancient main that they believe is appropriate for the challenge you're about to face, so that's kind of cool. Gives you, I think sometimes it's like um, faster regeneration of something, uh, a boost to your like, fortification of your health or stamina or whatever. Um, I'm also using the Thief Stone, and I am a Aetherius based Khajiit, so... Um, it, it, is it not showing on here? Anyway, Khajiit get 50% uh, less falling damage, and you also get 50% less falling damage for the Thief Stone, but they don't seem to stack, unfortunately, so it just I think it's just one or the other. But you do get the faster movement speed, extra stamina, and uh, you get some extra unarmed damage for the Blessing of Riddlefire. And uh, you also get an Im improvement to all skills by percentage based on your favor with Riddlethar. So that's kind of cool. Um, the idea of Riddlethar here is master of all skills. So I tried to spread my health, magic, and stamina out over all the, the, the levels. I think I put a little bit more into health just because he was feeling a little bit squishy. So we did that. And then I uh, ended up using uh, Arcade's Light from Miss mysticism mysticism and uh that gives us so much health regeneration with all the perks that um he's almost unkillable on master and probably just go ahead and play it on legendary although then everybody will be a punching bag and it's kind of a drag but there you go um so this time because he is an unarmed um build i decided to do adamant with the hand-to-hand -hand add on instead of doing ordinator so so far this is the only non-ordinator build in the series uh, let's take a look at the skills so there you go you get hand-to-hand -hand. so this is replacing lock picking security is a combination of lock picking and pickpocketing um, with this particular mod setup Hand to hand, we get extra extra attack damage to uh, unarmed. We get uh, you move faster when you are unarmed. Uh, power attacks deal more damage. Uh, attack unarmed attacks deal extra stamina damage and prevent enemies from regenerating stamina. Pretty nice. Unarmed attacks are faster. You resist all incoming damage when unarmed. Unarmed power attacks deal 50% extra damage to targets who are power attacking, drawing a bow or casting a spell. Unarmed power attacks deal 50% more damage to targets with uh, who fall below half health, and unarmed power attacks have a chance to knock down enemies when they fall below half health. But I, didn't, I don't think any of them actually fell down when I was punching them. I think they probably just died soon after dropping below 50% health, but there you go. I did a little bit of sneaking too. Uh, got agent, which is just making us harder to detect. Uh, not, not triggering traps and being able to do a silent roll and moving faster when sneaking. Um, I only used that uh, when I was fighting, basically sneaking up on like a bandit chief or something like that. Light armor also grabbed absolutely everything. We've got um, armor more effective. Um, more armor bonus again when you're wearing at least three pieces of armor. Uh, faster magic or stamina regeneration. Armor doesn't slow you down when uh, weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down. Adrenaline, you move faster when sprinting with three pieces of armor. 
Endurance gives you uh, less stamina when power attacking. You can see how these things kind of tie in together really, really nice. I think I think you're probably intended to wear light armor with the hand-to-hand -hand, uh, tree. Uh, athletics move faster when wearing light armor. And second wind, your stamina regenerates twice as fast when you fall below half stamina. I don't think I ever actually really fell below half stamina. My stamina was regenerating pretty quick. Also did a little bit of blocking, but um, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to test out whether these perks work with unarmed uh, blocking. This discipline, for example, blocking with a shield, right, reduces incoming arrow damage. Uh, deflection, blocking with a shield, reduces incoming magic damage. I don't know if those work with uh, unarmed, but you can test that out for yourself. And for some reason, I was also gaining heavy armor skill throughout this. I don't know why. Um, maybe the armor I'm have I I have on is also registering as heavy armor somehow. But it's definitely light armor, so I don't know what's going on there. And then restoration, I did a healer. Uh, so the Arcaea's Light costs less to cast. It lasts twice as long with recovery, and repose causes it to... Is that twice as long as well? Oh, twice as strong, sorry. Recovery makes it twice as strong, and repose makes it light, last twice as long. So normally uh, Arcaea's Light is 5 health per second for 120 seconds, but it's like a 11 or 12? I think it's 11 point something. Uh, per second for 240 seconds. So basically cast that. I have just enough magic to, magica, eh, magica to cast it once before going into combat, but two minutes uh, should get us through pretty much all um, fights. And if we have to, our, our magic would probably regenerate before we would need to cast it again anyway. So that is that. Let's go check out the combat section. Yeah. 